Hi there! In this part of this tutorial we look at the Firebase backend, to store our recipes. We create a Firestore database called Meal Prep and then set it up for authentication. We link this back to the sign up page, and register a user, using an email address and password. We create a Firestore database from the Google Developer Console. We enable sign-in methods, and choose the email and password option. We then create the underlying database and application linked to this Firestore project. From the project settings, we create the app. This will help us get our Firebase connection settings. The project has been created, the database has also been created. We have just created the web app for our Firestore project. We will use the configuration settings in our B4X project. This content here is what we will use. In our project, we have created a variable which is based on our Firestore library. We initialize this and specify the connection details. These are the details we were previously given by Google Firestore. We use these in the initialization call of our PG index module. When we start the application, it will attempt to connect to the Firestore project and database. If successful, a green snack bar notification will appear. We also updated the join views so that after a person specifies their email and password, these are read, and then an attempt to create a user profile based on the provided username and password is made. The email and password are read from the view state. A call to Firebase to create a user profile is made. This uses a promise. If successful, the details of the user are saved and then the user profile for recipes is shown. The user is also marked as authenticated. Let's do this via the app. We signed in a user that does not exist, so Firebase gives us an error. So let's join, we provide the email and password. As soon as we join, the user profile or about screen is shown.